Hey guys, um, today we're working on my 91 right hand drive NSX headlights. Um, follow me. I'm going to show you guys what's been going on. This is the car we're working on. It's from Japan, it's right hand drive and it's completely rusted everything so as you can see from the suspension it's aluminum it's not rusted completely but it's not presentable so the headlight buckets give you an idea this is powder coated after sandblasted you can see get a close up of this how the rust is eating away on these brackets. We blast it and coat it so it doesn't become a problem. Same thing with the headlight brackets. So let's go back inside the office and, and put the headlight together, show you guys how it's done. Alright, so I wish I'd I wish I'd saved show you guys this bucket before we send it out the powder coat. You can see on here. Uh, the rust has gone, you know, tried to start eating through some of it. But 90% is pretty nice, and all this is in the bottom. So, even being like this, you're only going to see this top section, and these are the bolts that mount up. So, it's, you're not going to see any of the imperfections once we get the headlight back together. I've had this thing powder coated as well. The rust was eating this as well. It's just, everything's just being eaten away by rust. As much as the car is aluminum. Now, if you guys ever wonder how this whole headlight assembly, you, you got a headlight that, that this motor failed on it and you need to figure out how to put that in or whatsoever, I've torn one down completely. I'm sure anybody, can, you can unscrew all the bolts, take it all apart. Putting this damn thing back together is another problem of its own. So, let's start by, I'm gonna sit down, it's easier to sit down. Put up by. So we take the motor and this guy. So it's like that. For the motorization. And it takes these little gold screws, three of them. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And we gave the motor power here functions so we're not you know putting in a bad motor. I'm gonna cheat, take my gun and tighten the tighten all the bolts. So now the motor is mounted to the bracket. Now this bracket belongs right here. This piece sits right in here, so right now this, you know, you can easily maneuver and voila, 110 goes right in there. Take this nut. See if I can do it standing up, make it easier on myself. There's one ten there. There it goes. One ten there and yeah, one ten to put in the bottom right there. Oh, this plug is what's bothering it. There it is. Got my ten. That one I gotta do by hand. Okay. 
Okay, so now the motor's in place. Still, you know, it's wobbly. Now, this mechanism, I don't know if you can buy this by itself or not, but if you break this, you're pretty much screwed. So, I don't know if you can see near the camera. This little screw right here. And there's a washer. Now, when we took it apart, these guys came out of it. There's two of them, sometimes they come with one. This goes right here before you put this motor back together. Let me see if I can find an extra one of those. Here's another one. It takes two of them. They're these thin little washers. Now, this got a notch in it here, so you want to make sure you get that notch. this way it only was one way and it's this way now this doesn't want to go in maybe the, the, this needs to be like this yep that went in just just like I expected don't force nothing Make sure you put the washer back in and make sure you put this in right afterwards. Take a gear wrench and tighten it. This guy wants to completely collapse the let me say I push this in my hand and open it up a little bit the motor this right here this goes right into it don't break it that so when you give it power it swings this is at a full close okay now here's the tricky part the wiring these guys one of these guys to go either the one of these guys go that way or the other one's gonna come this way <laughs> goes around it. No. This goes right over it. This connects back into here. 
or it's happy. That goes there and these guys one goes here and the other one goes right here. I wish this was open, I can show you guys more in depth on how much of a clusterfuck this wiring is. So, I think that's how it goes. The hell, it's an NSX, who knows? Let me check my wiring diagram on my other headlight. So here's the other headlight that I already built and it's open so you kind of get to see how the wires go. The one that goes from end to end looks up to closer to that thing. So let's see if I flip this this way and the end hooks up closer to that thing. Yep, it's the right way. So, make sure that that's back in this place. You got this guy left. This is the easiest and funnest part. Plug that. Make sure you get that nice snap. And then put on the side. What was those four tins I had right here? These guys. Battery died. <laughs> well, I'm out of juice, guys. But there it is. One headlight. Okay, I'm gonna be lazy. Yeah, I gotta get my gun and zap that in. But this part goes to the seal of the car. These guys hang out at the bottom. Both your headlights are rebuilt. I spent a lot of time tearing them apart, cleaning them. As these cars are getting older and older, they're becoming worth more and more money. So if you care about your car and have a lot of rust issues. Check the video out. Um, installation instructions. You get these clips on the bottom of them. Don't be afraid to take them. Add more to them. Take take some out. We did clean these joints. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and re-grease these guys with some assembly lube. So later on when they start working and stuff, they're not uh, gonna come apart because of plastic rubbing on plastic. So let me get some of that lube now. 
Who ain't kidding me says there's a lot of bugs in it. <laughs> Apparently we left it out one night and the bugs got all in it. Just a regular old grease. Doesn't have to be anything special. Wrong tool to use. Some on my brush and kind of just brush this lube all in it and inside here as well. And the same for up here. This guy right here. Try to catch it on all sides. That's about it, guys. Um, we're gonna be restoring the whole. We're gonna be restoring that whole entire NSX from the ground up. So subscribe to the channel. There's more, um, more videos to come.